Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be making some shaker tags from the things that I pulled for this month's stash. So I am using the One Canoe 2 Creekside collection, and I am using the digital collection that I just printed out and cut out myself. So I do have some little tags here that I kind of know what I want to do with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of assembling these, and then we will seal them up with the fuse tool. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this Tombow adhesive on this little leaf thing just to kind of hold it in place. Shouldn't have to add too much on here. I'm just going to pop that on the front of that one. Then I was thinking maybe I could add some like little enamel things to it as well just to kind of make the red might be too much. So maybe some little pink like that. Maybe like one more of these like little pink ones. Just to add a little bit of something to that one. So this one I don't think I really want to do much because I want the little hearts to kind of float around in there. I think that would be kind of fun. Yeah, I don't think I really want to add any little jemmies or anything. So I think that one is fine as it is. This one I do want to add this heart here on the front. I think it's really cute and then again same idea with the little hearts to just kind of float around and then for this one I'm going to go ahead and put this one down like so and maybe like some red ones like a red like a little pink maybe like one more pink one up here just to add a little bit of interest. And I think on the back of these, I'm gonna add, oh, I forgot those were on there. <laughs> I'm gonna add maybe some little stickers or something just to make it a little bit more special. There, this one is the blue one, right? Yep, okay, so I'm gonna add a blue butterfly. I think that would be cute. It's like the red one. Add a little bit of something to the back of them so it's not super boring back there all right so I think my fuse tool is all heated up so I just have a couple of different kinds of plastic here I think this one is from project life and then this one is just like a big photo sleeve thing if you guys have any questions about how to use a fuse tool different types of plastic all my tips and tricks I do have a fuse tool tutorial video that is real time shows you guys you know how much I'm actually adding pressure, how fast I'm going, things like that. So if you want to check that out, um, I will link that down below for you guys. Oh, I also need shaker bits, right? So let me go ahead and just grab them all. I think the green ones I'm not gonna use right now because there's not really much green in there. So I have a couple of brown wood grain ones, a gold sequin one, and then I'm also going to grab this little pink sequin box. And I might use some of these because there is quite a bit of pink in here. If you watched my stash video, you'll notice that I did not pull any blue sequins. Um, I just felt like that was just getting like way too much color going on. So that's why I did not do that. I like to have all the edges of my sequin tag sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and just seal up these edges really quickly. Just so it has like a nice consistent look. One pocket. So I think I'll just go ahead and pop these here. I might actually cut this apart right now so I don't have to worry about it later. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and seal up mm, maybe the top part.
little hearts in here. I think they're super cute. Okay, and then I need some little sequins. So I was thinking maybe some of these little pink ones. Maybe some of these ones. And some of these ones. Maybe some gold. Alright. There's a fun, cute little sequin shaker. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off all the excess because I don't need it. So there is that little tag. I'm gonna go ahead and add my grommet things because that's what I like to do. So I have the, what is this? We are memory keepers. It's the crocodile, I think. <laughs> I can't remember. But this thing is really cool. It's like, it's a super powerful hole punch as well. So it does let you add the grommets or rivets or whatever you want to call them two projects but it also has two sizes of hole punches which is really nice and then I use the we are memory keepers eyelets that's I guess that's what they call these <laughs> eyelets um and they do have two pieces which is nice so they have a front piece and a back piece so it keeps everything looking real nice so you just put the front piece on the front and then you pop the little flat piece on the back and I have showed these I believe up close but if you guys want a tutorial on this particular tool I'm happy to do that so I can't remember which way it goes I don't think it really matters but all right and then just press and then it sets your eyelet for you which is really nice so there's one so let's go ahead and do another one maybe this little blue guy would be kind of fun to do that going on so I'm gonna go ahead and add my little wooden hearts so and then I think I want to do some pink ones again maybe some more of these light ones and maybe some of these little itty bitty ones and I was thinking maybe some of these little ones too they're very shiny just a few and then it's time to seal it up okay, so I'll do this little guy one more time it's really easy you just punch your hole like that Get your eyelets Again, you just get a front and a back piece. And there we go. Super cute. So I'm going to do the other two off screen and I will be back when all of them are finished and show you guys all the finished project. Okay. All right. So these are the finished shaker tags. I think they came out super cute. I love that there's like the little wooden pieces in some of them. This one's really fun. And this one, I added some little wood grain sequins, a few little seed beads from my stash, as well as some pink ones. And this one has a couple of those hearts and some more sequin bits in there. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed these shaker sequin tags. They were really fun to make and I cannot wait to put them into some happy mail. But that is it for today. Please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!